Hi everyone, welcome to another video, think of time. So today's the day, we've got a nice sunny day in uh, Yorkshire and we're going to fit these windows in that van. A uh, few things you're going to need to cut this out is definitely some e defenders because this is a proper noisy job. If you're doing it at home, make sure your neighbours are out or warn them you're going to do it because it rattles the van. I'm alright, I don't have any neighbours as such. Um, going to need some clamps to lift the glass up. These really do help. I've done this before, but never on a channel, on a video. So I've used these before. They're great, you can pick your windows up and stick them on. You can also, you'll see this clamp to the side of the van and to the glass to hold it. I also picked up these um, online, they're like little sucker clamps so you can just put them on the side of your van and use this heel part here to just push the glass in if you need to. They've got a bit of suction or you can resort to sticking tape on it. These glass windows normally go off in a couple of hours because I think if you go somewhere professionally to do it, you're not going to leave your van there overnight, so I would imagine maybe two, three hours um, you can drive it away. I'll read the instructions on this stuff that's come with these windows. And it doesn't say. Let's have a quick look. The reading's not the best in the world. So there is nothing on there that says that. But they normally say two or three hours these are dry, but just check with the manufacturers first before you drive off and your windows fall out. These windows came from a nice chap. Um, like I said in my previous videos, they are second hand, but they're new. They've come with all the stuff. The alcohol wipes here, you're going to need them. We're going to need this primer to stick round when we've cut the window out. And obviously the bonding agent that comes with it. doesn't come with a normal silicone nozzle. You notice it's got a V in it and you put that in a silicone gun. A lot of professionals use battery operated ones to get a constant flow but most of us don't have that so we're down to a silicone gun. Um, it's a half decent one this so it, it should be alright. We need to get an even flow but we'll do that later on. Again this video is quite long. I'm not going to skip it and fast forward it like because you're not going to see anything are you just a window coming a bit of metal coming out a window going in and nothing else in between. So hopefully watch it all. I will be moving this camera around so you'll have to bear with me because I'm no film crew yet. <laughs> um, but we're going to obviously take you this side and then go around the other side and I'm going to cut out the side of the van on the driver's side, this side because it makes it easier I'm going to cut this side out because it makes it easier for you to see from the roller shutter side, sorry roller shutter side sliding door side and look through that way then I'll bring the camera back round here and you'll see this bit come out if you're unsure how to do this and you're a bit nervous, I do a sliding door because if you make a mess of it or something goes wrong you can get another sliding door you can't get the side of the van obviously so uh, I'll go for this side to help with the purpose of the video right. what else do we get? this trim uh, we'll talk a bit more about this trim I think as I've cut the window out you, there's, there's options with this trim um, I'm sure I got the trim for this, this kit from this lad but I can't seem to find it so this is off my original kit from when I first did the other van but this, I'm going to fit this window on this video I won't do the sliding, uh, sliding door because it's the same principle of all windows in any van this so you don't see me do two windows I might as well just show you how to do one so they, this this will go on later on but we'll talk about that later on what do we need? well to cut these windows out Anything you want really, barring a tin opener. So everyone mentions hole saws. Yeah, you can use it in the corners, but you need one about four inches big, which I do have down here. Use that for cutting funnels out and stuff like that, but it's massive and to turn that in there just to get that shape it, 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 it might not, it's not worth it for me. So what I do is I drill it smaller near the corners. Using a, using a smaller hole saw, you'll see it, and then I use the angle grinder, battery operated one, all the batteries, are, I've got two batteries fully charged and another one on charge, 
this has no guard on it, so just bear in mind, make sure you use your guard on yours, I've got used to using it without. But all I do now is drill it and uh, I'm going to try and slit it out. So I'll go around there and I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do next. If you want to protect the side of your van, by the way, feel free. We're going to wrap this van if you follow my channel and make sure you vote for the wrap colour in the community section part of my channel. You can wrap up everything you want in case you skid off or hit some of but most of the cutting, probably from the inside anyway. Um, bit of a bit of sanding when we get it cut out. So let's crack on with it. Let's get the camera around now to the other side of that door and we'll, we'll get on with that. So you plugged into extension leads and all sorts. So you'll have to bear with me here. Let's hope that everything goes round. In fact, can I put it here like this so it's easier for them to see? Can you see the... Nope, let's go around here. I said to you, didn't I? I said we're going to have problems. There we go. Right, so we're going to cut this out first. The intentions are... is to cut these out first, get rid of these. And we're going to follow this line. Not the, there's a little lip there, but we're actually following the tyre, just the outside, not this lip, all the way around, hopefully, and uh, get this panel out. So, let's have a go. You can also use a nibbler, you'll see professionals use nibblers. Um, I've got one, but it leaves a lip on here. So I've got to mention that back there, but yeah, so you need to get it flat to there, but professionals use a nibbler and they can cut these out in no time at all. But we have to use what we've got, don't we, it's all wise. We don't have all these gadgets. We're only doing it once, we're not doing it every day. And then we'll uh, see if it comes out. Right, so wait there, I've got to get my grinder. I've got my safety glasses on and headphones on. And uh, let's see how we get on. I'll go get my grinder, wait a minute. There we go, no turning back. So what I'll do is I'll get to these points here and these bits I can't get to. I've got um, a jigsaw and uh, I just gent I just I just take that edge off the shape of it with the jigsaw. Some people drill that complete corner out and sand it back. You do whatever you've got to do to get it out. You know that's that's basically what I'm trying to say is whatever tools you've got to hand do them or borrow them if you're not gonna use them again, no point in buying stuff. Just get it out as neat as you can. You don't want to be really damaging the other side of this skin, which is your panel van side. You don't want to be rippling it because your glass has got to sit on that. Otherwise you're a nightmare. So don't, don't do it too hard with some of that don't really do the job, if you know what I mean. Let's get these on. Might have to take volume down a bit, but let's, uh, let's cut these out.
<laughs> on this time they've been actually bonded to the van so we'll, we'll cut them out with it as you can see there's loads of sparks going everywhere this is just a panel van so this is why probably grinders out best for everybody because it sparks so if you're going to do this then do it before you convert anything you don't matter about your van does it this we have discussed now this van's going to be somewhere else so if you like this channel and you're following it and you're just watching this video all this will be stretched out we're going to do a lot, quite a bit of work to the inside of this van like a bit of a camper a bit of a summer where you can go off in it stop over a night then go back to a hotel or whatever and quite universal van now we've had a bit of a chat maybe why so that's what we're doing so what we'll do now is we'll drill here we're going to drill these corners out and try and slip round this best we can uh, and then get it out probably what I'll do is when I get round this side I'll go out and then blue clamps I'll put one here and one to the body just to stop it from falling onto my van so that's you might have to maybe put tape on it if you haven't got them clamps tape it so just to stop it falling you might scratch your van if it falls out so let's uh now this does make a racket back now is there <laughs> all right so I'm a little bit high in places on here but I can always grind it I can always sand it back to this lip edge here I'm not in, into the frame at the other side, so that's all right. So what I'll do now is I'm going to try and join these up best I can, and uh, see how we get on.
Like you can see, it's not the easiest job in the world with a grinder. It does make a lot of sparks, a lot of mess, but like I say, I'm just going to go now and put a clamp on that other side, one of the blue ones, uh, just to get this panel out without hopefully, hopefully it will drop out. Just give me a minute. Just couldn't find anywhere to stick it. But I've got it on this corner here, on this side panel. So let's finish it off. Let's get it out before it rains. Out. Yo. Definitely better fit these windows now, might they? Right. So we've got some pretty jagged edges here, we're going to have to sand all this off but it might be, it'd be easier for me now to do it, that window that I can get the grinder in. I'll carry on. Like I said in previous videos, I've put in openers in these and you'll find if you're converting your van to a crew cab, which I did in my last video, the, these vans get awfully warm in the back. Um, and with kids and animals and stuff like that, I would always recommend at least fitting fitting both sliders because you find kids argue probably like minded who's sitting near the window. Um, and these are both openers, and, and it, it is always the best thing I think to fit because I mean, to rip the glass out and to re trim it with a slider could be a bit of a nightmare. Aftermarket windows and it could make a nightmare so. I'd always install these aftermarket windows with sliders in both sides really. That's just my recommendation to people um, who's converting these vans. Right, so just try and nick a bit more off there and then we'll uh, we'll get the sanding pad on it and trim it up to this edge here. I think take a bit more off I think. Camp. I had to pick a dry day, so that's why I've not done it before, because you can see why.
have an outstanding pad, let's use this old one. Uh, it should do it, it should do it. As you can see, I'm just trying to trim this up just to get it nice and flat. We'll go out over side in a minute and uh, we'll just tidy up that edge. But you can see, most of the work on these is done from the inside. Uh, it's definitely a messy job. And it reminds me of how, uh, how dusty and mucky it was, really. Never mind, we've just got a bit more to do there. And then we're going around the other side. Thank you. 
Yes, yeah, so that sanding pad's proper at it. So we'll go back around the other side now and uh, see what it looks like from that side. So you're on the move again. Stay with me, folks. And this is what we should have on the van. Stand it further back. So we're going to be doing a lot from this side now. We don't really need to go back inside. Okay. So there we go. Let's just tilt that up so we can see it better. There we go. So what I'll do now is I'll just clean up all this edging on here. Uh, and, we'll, and we'll tidy it up. Don't we? Talk about edging, don't we? There's the grinder. This grinding, this sanding wheel is just about add it, but it's quite good when you just want to fettle some it and not uh, do too much damage to it. these were. Let's hope these windows fit. Right. I'm gluing it back in. So what I need to do now is I'll just go get a cloth. I'll just give that a bit of a white round because it's got it's got loads of it's got to be really clean this now. I've got everything set up here apart from the rags and cloths. So I'll just go get a cloth and uh, we'll, we'll give it a bit of a white round and then we'll look at this edging. Two seconds. Two seconds. Right, just turn this up. Right. So some, what I've seen in the past with these windows is the trim can be a bit confusing. So where's the trim? So this is a single tip. So I'm going to try this and take your manoeuvres. Just a sec. Let's lock that off so I don't switch it off while I'm walking around. So this camera I've got has got a tripod there. So you see this lip here? This does not fit over both of them. You can pull it, but if you watch, it can distort this. And this part is where obviously where the window sits against. And if you force it, you can end up with probably high and low spots in the trim. So what I'm gonna do, what, what I've done in the past is put this on the inside, like that, and put the glass right up against this so it's really close 
Now you can see that from the inside just about but what I'm going to try this time is actually putting it there I've always well I was not like this idea because if you don't put enough adhesive on here that this trim if I can do it my car can't do it if you don't put enough on there your glass hits that before it hits the sealant and then what happens is you get leaks so I am two minds even talking about it whether just to go that way the kind I've done it like that and then this hides the window so my glass is tight up against that but then when you look from the inside you can see the top of where you cut or you could sand this even more so that is like that so you actually can't see it from the inside could be an option but I doubt it because you've got to get around here and also can you see where they've stuck this bonding stuff in here like sound denting material where are we with a finger there some there there's some here some up there and everywhere so you can't actually force this stuff over both of them I mean it, it just this stuff will not go so the option you could get is a double a double seal instead of a single seal and then do it but I'm not a big fan of forcing two seals together so I'll leave that up to you if you fit in the windows and what you do but I'm gonna just stick my sand my cutting blade in there and, and split these apart so I can stick this I'm gonna go for it on outside I've always been against this but what I want to do is something else on the inside later on in the later on with my videos uh, on this fan so it will look like that can you see that so that that's on the outside and that's that's it so you're gonna see this bare finish on the inside you see but yeah I mean two minds myself now I've even confused myself really do we go for inside again I don't know I don't really know now because I can't really can't really double double seal it because I can't I won't be able to force that apart I won't be able to force that apart there but if I put it on the inside I could get the glass right up against it again but there's a possibility you could see it again but it was, it was minimalistic you know it was really minimal you'd have to really stare into the window to do it uh, I'm going to do it as I did before yeah I'm going to do it as I did before I'm going to put this on the inside I'm going to stick to what I say in the rear windows is I'm going to stick the window right up to the edge of the glass you make your own choice before you start if you want to cover it all I'd get a double thickness trim yeah so for my windows this is just a single trim kit that came with the other one but I would get five or six mil double seal you know less wider and do it right let's stop talking about it. let's uh let's crack on so i'll put you back in my tripod i am going to put it uh over the back edge so i don't see it and then i'll suffer with the looking at the window like i say it's however you want to do your van this is this is just a video on windows but it's it's however you want to fit this trim but that's all you get in these kicks by the way right stop talking about trims and get on with it right so going on the inside of that right. so I want the joint really at the top See some videos where this trim is actually on the outside. You can tell these videos are unedited because we're changing our mind all the time. We've cut the window out. But 
what we want is the product right at the end, don't we? We don't, we're not bothered what we think about. It takes a minute or two to think about it. Once I put this in, it's added. Tell you what we'll do. We're going to stick it on the outside because what we're going to do inside, this this will affect it later on in other videos. So this is now going on the outside of that trim. And you'll see why in other videos that I do. Why I've, why I've done it this way. The other van won't done like this. But this one's going to be like this. Need to run a slitting disc out back of there because it's got all that that stuff on it. Battery's flat. So you can see why they've gone for a, a, a wider trim because I'm having to grind out the sound denting or bonding that they've put in these panels stop them rattling from factory. not the best thing in the world to be doing to be fair so if you've got that problem get yourself a double trim uh, you don't want to be doing that it's not ideal at all job what's going on now I'm showing this how it is I'm not editing this or anything 
and this is where I don't speed stuff up so you can see where I'm making mistakes or what you're in for when you start. get a mallet to make sure they're tight in corners. Yeah, haven't we? It's gonna be fun, isn't it? Right. Hit right, pull it out, do it again. Still watching. So I've got everything set up for this video. I'm still forgetting stuff. Definitely get a double trim when we're doing this.
say this anyway, it's just, it's just an edging. can do we at the end of the day. Right, clean it off again. Let's get the window in now shall we. Clean all this off. So we've got the finished edge still inside. dropping on that stuff. In fact, you don't have to do this, but got a little bit of thinners. I'll, uh, I'll just give it a bit of a dab round. Give it some knock off and stuff that's still on the van. So the next thing is the primer. So this primer goes around the window within about an inch or two because this window covers the whole van right down here. And what we'll do is, I'll talk it before I do it. So with the sealant, we we'll put the primer on. I think it takes a few minutes to go off. We've got to clean up the window and put the alcohol wipe on it. But we'll seal it. And when we seal it, this back edge, we're just going to tail it off. Because water tends to follow the glue, and if it runs out, can it's just dripping. So if I put it around the outside, if we go like that, water should run around the window and just drop off the side. So you don't have constant streaks in one place. I know it's going to rain around it and drop down, but instead of having one complete drip, if I tail it off at the back edge with the glue, it should work. That's what I did my last time anyway. Right. Let's just plug this battery back in because I don't trust it. Oops. Right, that's that plug back in. So spin this round here. And we're going to do the window. So, what I'm going to do with this window is all this off at first. We'll prime the window first. So this is a primer you get with your tins. You want to get one go at it. Please be alright because I've got no mark. What is that? What's this? Is it a black cat that sits inside it? Or? Oh no. That primer's gone off. Oh no! That primer's been opened. What's this one like? Just a cap. Oh no! So, the, so I can see it in the can, but it's so old that it's gone off. Oh no! And this is what came with it. So. Oh no, what we're we gonna do? It, it's gone off, but yet they're sealed. Oh, 
What's this here? Is this any good? Oh no. Deep doo doos now. That's no good either. Oh. We're gonna have all. Oh, I've got some. Oh, I've got some. So then, ones I got with the window thing. They're all dried up. So I can see it squishing in the bottle. Take the cap off and it's it's gone off. This is out of my other tin. And there's plenty in it. So luckily I haven't cut all the windows out and I'll I'll fit this one and I'll have to order some primer. So what I need is this. This come with it. Well that gone off, has it? And you only get one go with these. So you've got to gently rub it round about 25 mil you can plaster as I mean I don't go too mad with it because the window covers the van um, so at the end of the day you can put what you want on but you need to be just don't go too crazy with it I suppose because you've only got two pots so let's get this sapped on this window and get it dried off if we get away with it I'll try use this on both pots on both windows You don't want it dripping all over your van either. Like that. It should not be like that. It should not be like that. It should be like a, a black paint. Let's just give it a shake up. This just might have gone extremely pear shaped very quickly. The last van I did, I cut all the windows in it, waiting for the windows, and I had to cover it with the sheet for two days until the glass turned up. I want to get this done because this, this sticky thing won't last. This pad won't last long. Right, let's just try that. I think it was just not shaking up, it was my fault, I should have shaken it up. But let's have another go. It, it should be like black paint to be honest, when it goes on. Let's just try it again. Alright, so you can see it's different now. Quite nervous to do it on the video, to be honest. <laughs> if it goes wrong, I'll go right, idiot. Right, there we go. All we can do is try. It's drying already, that. You'll see they'll put, they'll put this on windscreens when they do cars. Get it in a big pot and... Might just have to go around again, a little bit wider. Only got one pot, so I need to make sure we can at least. to put a bit down this corner here this, this is where the big piece of glass is so let's do that bit there
Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone as well while I'm doing this for subscribing, following the channel. If, if you like these videos, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. Uh, really much appreciated. Doing my best, got all sorts to do to this farm. Get your votes into Rapid if you become a subscriber. There's a few colours to choose from. And uh, if you pick that colour, I'll wrap it that colour. Never wrapped a van before, or anything to be honest. So that'll be a first as well. I mean, you take your time with this, there's no. No great rush is it? That's the kind of main. I think I'm about an inch or so off that trim. That's the longest video I've done this so far. Right then. So that's that on there. You can see I've just tailored it off this bottom corner here. So yeah, so what you gotta be careful is you, you, know, you, can, you want it just stick in the window to it, so just going somewhere near that sail but not too far. It splats out. We'll, do, we'll talk about that in a sec. Right, I'll try to save that bit of primer. So I'll have to order some of them. Got we're lucky, won't it? I never thought I'd check it, see if it had gone off. Right, so the next thing is to clean this window up and get it ready to uh, lift into place. So I'll turn you around that way now. To there. I need to angle it down. Definitely need to uh, get a film crew. I don't think I was going to want to volunteer, but I'll try my best. Hang on. Let's move you back actually so you can see. Right. Oops, what's happening here? Why is it going over that side? It shouldn't be doing that. Oh dear. This tripod's are a nightmare. Just falls about. Where were you? Oh, hang on a sec. It's my fault, this. Just a minute. Wants to go that way around. The whole thing's spinning around. Oh no. Sorry about this. It's a, I just don't want it to fall over while I'm. Get that right there. Lights come off the top of the camera. Probably broken now. Right. There we go. Does the lights still work? Yep. Yeah. Ditch the light for a minute. It's a bit of a mix up that one, it right. So made these at the ready. Let's clear the bench. Go back primer. one of these wipes anything that's going to damage this glass unfortunately I've been there before I was doing my other van and uh, I'm putting the rear windows in it the rear little quarter windows and uh, a freak a freak gust of wind caught it nice day slid off and that was it it just smashed I thought oh my that was it game over <laughs> luckily the company I got the windows off were brilliant I sent one out the very next day and uh, I fitted it so I've got a bit of dust on this it doesn't matter too much really about the outside I'll clean that off later on right then
the side we're interested in. Let's get rid of that. Don't need that. Right. Give it a dust off for free with this. But we do need to go around it. With an alcohol wipe. And then don't touch it. Today. Right. Then <laughs> I've got off as well. So what we're gonna have to do is please use your alcohol wipes that come with your windows. We have to clean it with something. The only thing I have in my possession today for the hole in my van is some thinners. I would imagine it'll do the same job and it'll evaporate. So I was going to clean it out because it's a little bit mucky. The, obviously, second hand windows have been stored. When you buy new ones, they'll throw all the kit at you, they'll give you the proper sealant and uh, bonding agents and that bear in mind these windows could have been stored for a while and that's why that bonding agent's gone off that primer so I'll just bear that in mind buy them get them done right so what I'm going to do which I learnt my last van is just pick these up and try it in the van just just sit it against the van because my last van, it rocked and rolled a bit and it needed a little bit of fettling did the van's steel frame, uh, the outer panel of the van. So this is really, uh... so you grab some bottle now. start is it get them other ones it like that This is where you have nerves of steel here. And if it slips, you've had it. So I'll just pop off camera. I'm just going to offer this up to the van. If I start crying, it's gone off. I pick it up like that. So I have to literally lay it on sideways. Do these fit in my van? Yes, and look really good. But you'll see that in a minute. Right, so we're not crying yet. So I want it that way on because I'm going to pick it back up that way in a minute or two. Next thing, sealant. If that primer's gone off, this stuff may have gone. I don't know why has it got that tube on the back. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. It's proper sealed up. I'm gonna use it. Right, just find somewhere to stick it in there. Uh I get a screwdriver. So 
of sticking that in the end of there actually uh, is okay. Right, let's just take a bit of sorting out. Should get a, that little tag on there is the depth if you want to put it on the van. So let's get this camera over to this van here now. Let's do this. Come on. Right. So this is coming out of this tube now. I said they'll be moving you around a lot. In fact, we'll leave the camera here now because we'll get the window in in a second, hopefully in a bit. Right. We've got the primer on. It's a little bit of movement. So we've got the primer on. So this, this part is the depth. We want this. So we've, we've all got one of these guns probably in the garage somewhere. And this needs to go on like that down it should create a v-shape uh, i'll get this bit of metal and show you so this is the old bit of steel here we'll put that on there it leaves like a little sausage like that uh, obviously I'll do it better, I'll try to do it better on the van but you can see it's like that's the minimum depth it wants to be it's probably 10 mil or something like that right let's get some gloves on there's probably window fitters out there you might think it's too much of a job but like I said, I bought these second hand and if if you buy all the stuff, you got all the it won't have gone off his trim, but just think bear in mind that trim seal. I send a single skin out for this purpose, but I go for a double seal, do inside and outside. It depends on what you do inside. And when I do this fan, if you follow this channel and this fan, you'll see that why I've done it like this. Now, right, let's get this on. So start at the top. Once I've been really quiet there. So I'm making sure that this seal I'm putting on is thicker than this trim edge. Otherwise I'll hit the seal and not the gl glass will hit the seal and not not the outer bonding agent. But you've got to be careful you don't put too much on and it pushes over top of the glass. gonna make a mess stop and start again don't carry on because it just get worse for you so what I've done is there I've tailored it off there to allow any water to come down the glass and drop down there it's obviously gonna drop everywhere else but I think I think I might need a bit more there I think I'm just gonna Say, but I 
I just want to make sure that that seal at the top is completely covered. So I'm going to stick this glass in. It sticks to this, it doesn't stick to that trim if you get what I'm trying to say. If you make a mess of it, leave it, let it go off. Get some more stuff and do it again. Do not carry on. Gap in there, look, there's definitely going to be a gap there, isn't there? That ain't pretty, is it? So I've got gloves on. Good sharp knife. I don't want to get any because I've got my hands on it in a minute or two. Right, this has got a little bit of it, I don't know why it stopped started there. Got plenty of stuff on there now. Let's get this window stuck in. Here we go, pick it up. Hold them flat like that. Give it a bit of a wiggle, like that. Backwards and forwards, up and down. Make sure it's flat to the sides, give it a push. It comes off up inside that glue, we'll sort it. And then what I'm gonna do is, we get another one of them, it should stick there. This is where these come in handy. That on there like that. Put that to the band like that. Just to hold it. I want to go up like that. Look. That one like that. We've got four of these. We should have four of these. There we go. That on there like that. You can see we're not using a lot of tape. And we want it flush to that. I'm going to try and keep it nice and flush. If you fit in quarter windows as well, you need to leave your rear lights in. Get this in, and when you cut it, do that. Long wheelbase ones, extremely heavy glass, um, and they do take some doing because it, it eventually this can sometimes rip up. But I aren't doing them on this because I will need it as a van and just kind of a camper thing. So may do it. You no, know, see what comes up. I'll just uh, I'll get them little things and show you these other little blue ones I've got. So these were great these, I got these online. Uh, they have like a uh, little sucky pad, just gotta wait a bit. I had a mate like that. Stick that on there like that. And they have like a little tongue at the back they can grab and push down. And they can just help just tweak your glass a little bit. Like that. Professionals might use other things, but um, I've seen gaffer tape, get some of your paintwork, rip it off, your lacquer's had it on it, so they're not forcing anything out, they're sitting nice and flush there, is that? Take these off here now, I'm going to pop another one on there if we have to. Like that. 
get that up against there. That's nice and flat. Good windows, these. Nice windows. I'll just check the inside. You'll keep looking at that. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. There's no bolt, there's no there's no glue coming through inside. You can just see that trim edge and then we've got the bare edge from the vanity side, but later on videos we're gonna we're gonna address that. We're gonna sort that out. Just take that off there, take the stress off that. We could put that one there I suppose if we have to just uh, what we don't want to do is put too many on it. It pulled the glass off. But the next couple of hours we don't get any rain here in Yorkshire. We're all right. Does it look level at the top? I think we could tweak it a bit. There we go. I'll just stand back and have a look because I can't see just looking at it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So we're in. Woo! They do work, trust me. They haven't been used for quite a while. But... As it starts to dry, you see, it'll, it'll start to pop. But we just need... It. There we go, there's quite a bit of pressure on that now. So there, there are the little clamps. Put one in there, you see it's got a bit of bounce there, a bit of flex. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just get one on there. Just to help that window in there. Get that stuck uh, on there like that. So we'll back it off. Like that. We'll just tweak that. See, I'm putting some, some push on that now. Back it off a touch. Just try to follow that line at van, really. You know, so it's nice and flush to the van because once it dries, we've had it. So I don't think the van's very clean either. We don't want it to slip into dust. There we go. So, what we'll do is, you could put some wedges under there if you had to, a bit of cardboard or something maybe, or if you want to get it, I can normally do it by eye. Got flies and wasps. So yeah, so if you like this video, like any of my videos, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button everyone, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've uh, followed it, it's quite a long video. Watch it through, see my mistakes, where you won't make mistakes, and uh, hope it's helped you out, fit your windows in your van. All right, guys, and uh, I'll see you later. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.